Walmart.com is scamming people with fake cards? Yeah. What's up guys, we're back with another not so epic video. Today I'm bringing to the attention of the Yu-Gi-Oh! community something that I saw in a video on a Pokemon channel. So this Poketuber that I met at Leonhardt's pop-up shop named Deep Pocket Monster just posted a video the other day that was extremely interesting. It was about how someone in his Discord bought a Pokemon Evolutions booster box from Walmart.com and they were completely fake. It wasn't like a reseal where you're like, oh, maybe it was reseal, maybe it wasn't. It was literally fake cards. The Charizard said Catter PEX on it. I highly suggest checking out his video if you guys are interested in that. I will link it in the description. I am going to be talking about another Walmart experience that I had that I thought was just maybe a coincidence incidents until I saw what happened here. So the scary thing about Walmart.com's platform is it's not Walmart selling to you some of the time. Sometimes it's just a third party seller using Walmart.com like they use Amazon or eBay. This is not as clear as it might be if you're on, let's say, eBay. So you might think I'm buying this from Walmart. It's going to be safe. But that's not really the case. It will become abundantly clear if you go watch that video. It's ridiculous to try and get a refund after you've been scammed. But this wild experience actually brought back a memory from mid last year where I actually got scammed by Walmart or should I say maybe a seller through Walmart? So we're here on my purchase history on walmart.com. I bought a, what seemed to be, if you guys can see this picture right here, it's very small, but an original print Pharaoh Servant booster pack. If you guys see that original print logo. So I knew that there was a chance if I bought this, it was gonna be a reprint pack, but I wasn't totally sure. So I went ahead and bought this. Then as you guys can see, we have another purchase where it was delayed. Check back for updates. This was June 9th. It still has never arrived. I spent $70 on this purchase. And here's where it gets interesting. Sold and shipped by Technically Geek. This is not Walmart. So Technically Geek, if you're out there, want to send me a refund? And as you guys can tell, I also thought that these were original print LOB packs. And I guess we'll never know if they were because they didn't arrive. Finally, here's the big one. Overflow E-Commerce LLC sold me a Metal Raiders booster pack first edition for $39.96. Someone actually brought this to my attention. They said there's first edition packs on Walmart. You should go check it out. And I was like, okay, there's no way this is actually first edition. But I was like, you know what? We're going to risk it. So I bought this pack hoping that we would get lucky and would actually be true. It never arrived. I do have a few packages though that I did receive and we're going to check out what I actually received from this order. All right, guys, it's time to check out what we actually got from that order. I've had these packages laying around for literally three quarters of a year because I just didn't know what to do with them. I was going to talk about Walmart scamming me and I'm like, well, maybe they didn't. And then I was like, well, it was actually another seller. And then I'm like, okay, this is actually kind of important because if people are buying from Walmart thinking that it's actually Walmart and it's not, and they're getting the wrong item, that's kind of a big deal, especially if you buy like a legacy pack and you're thinking, you know what, I'm spending 40 bucks. There's no way that's a reprint because those are eight or $10 in store. Turns out that might not be the case. So here's our first item, our original print Pharaoh Servant Pack. We got a legacy reprint. So I officially spent $27.60 on this reprint pack, which obviously is not right because they showed a picture of the original print. But since we have this pack here, we are going to open it up real quick and see if we can get anything. By the way, if we do pull like a Genzo or something, anything in this will be in a giveaway. So all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. And let me know what you think about Walmart being a little bit sketchy about you know, not really mentioning, I mean, I guess they do kind of say that it's from a different seller once you click into it, but how do you feel about that? Do you think that it's not obvious enough? And how do you feel about these fake cards? Because they were and still are selling those fake Evolutions booster boxes. They just raised the price to $1,000. So I don't really get what's going on there. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to participate in that giveaway. Let's see if we can pull something good from this $27.60 pack. It's going to be tough to break even here. Let's see if we can do it. We got a flame champion. I mean, technically we won't because we're giving it away, but bombardment beetle respect play gift of the mystical. This is not what we do when Walmart sells fake cards. Okay. Gift of the mystical elf ground collapse, enchanted javelin, light force sword and flying Kamikiri number two. So we did not get a full out of our $28 reprint pack. But that's not all we got back. If you guys remember, we didn't get the LOB packs. I didn't get the Metal Raiders packs. I don't think. I did get this random envelope, though, that I still can't figure out where this came from. 
So if you guys check this out, inside there is an envelope. It says, buyer name is Larry. I was looking at this last night, trying to figure out what is going on. So Metal Raiders booster pack. Metal Raiders, that's what well, we bought one of those, but it was first edition. This one was only $21 though. And there's nothing in my order history about spending $21. So I don't know what this is. Then they say seller's name was Larry. So I don't know what is going on with serious gaming, but like we got a, a pack from for a guy named Larry. I don't know what the deal with that is. Then it was only $21 when the one we ordered was $40. I bought this like at the exact same time. So I really have no idea where this came from. So we have, look, another $21 Metal Raiders reprint pack. So I know for a fact I would not spend $21 on one reprint pack. And supposedly my name is now Larry. I don't get it, but my name is Larry. So we have a reprint pack Metal Raiders. I don't know what this is about. It's been sitting in my room for a long time. Like really like nine months. I don't know what is going on with this whole order situation? But basically, when I saw that video about Walmart.com, it rekindled my interest and my confusion about this order. I don't know what is going on. I don't know why I got these. And I spent literally like $150 on four packs to turn out to be reprints that I only got two of. Well, really, I got... I don't even know if I got the first edition back. Like, I guess this is the first edition pack. I don't understand Castle of Dark Illusions. We got the Beam, Disc Magician, White Magical Hat, and... The Queen's Double. So out of our two packs, we did not get anything. And the final piece of this just weird, mysterious situation. We have this. So it has already been opened because it has been nine months since I got it. This was a package that felt like it had nothing in it. I was like, what in the world is this? I pulled out everything. I got this. There was nothing. Okay, I was like, okay. So is it just like, did I, did I get scammed or something? Is that what's going on? Like they didn't send me anything? And the answer is yes. I got... A Gen X Undyne common card. That was it. I have a suspicion that this is either supposed to be those LOB packs that didn't arrive and they gave like a different tracking number, or maybe this could be the Metal Raiders pack and that other one was something else. I still am very, very confused about what is going on, but that's all the evidence I have for like nine months ago, so my memory is a little bit off. Basically, the most important part of this video is Walmart.com can be sketchy. If you're just going off the images or you're going off what it says, like it's a first edition box or something like that, you might want to double check into that. Make sure you look at the reviews because on that Evolutions booster box, people have been hammering it with these are fake cards and stuff like that. So before you buy something on Walmart.com, check the seller, check the ratings, do everything you do on eBay. Don't just assume Walmart is going to give you something accurate or real. Because I did that and uh, it cost me about 150 bucks. I was doing it, you know, for the video that I never made, but I guess we're making it now. It's not really worth it, guys. Walmart.com, authentic products, definitely sketchy. So once again, go check out Deep Pocket Monsters video. If you haven't seen it, it's actually really entertaining. It's super good. And it's like, wow, this is just unbelievable how ridiculous this whole process is. But I figured I'd share my weird experience with you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Tone Flow Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, JT Cho, Ananatai Show, and Anima the Hollow. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.